hello there. If you're like me and you've ever wondered what went on in different fields, whether anybody camped in all that flat land there next to the river. The fields on each side of this road are very much higher than the road itself. I wonder if that means that the road is very old. Nice little village I'm coming into now, right on the hilltop. This would have made a cracking lookout back in Roman and medieval times when there were a lot of troubles with border raiders. Maybe there's something around here. Whether the footpaths we're walking on now were used by people hundreds, possibly thousands of years ago, well, the things that you find with your detector will possibly answer a few of those questions. The chances are, if you live in one of the older countries, i.e. ones that have been inhabited for centuries, if not thousands of years, wherever you go, somebody will have been there before you. Your metal detector, hopefully, will help you find traces of the people in the past. And in essence, that's what this series of videos is all about. It's tracing the past, finding those little personal things from way back when, and bringing those to the attention of the people in the present time. Now in this series, you're gonna be seeing lots of stuff found on pasture, on beaches, and also on plowed land, parks, all sorts of places, wherever people have been, they've dropped something. And whenever people have dropped something, people in the future with metal detectors will be finding it. I would just like to quickly mention three Facebook pages who have got members who have contributed to this series so far and also a few for the next videos as well. Firstly, Metal Detecting, Temerity Magazine and Detecting Australia All Metal Mode. All three of those Facebook pages are pretty well supported, but if you can check them out, links in the description below here, I'm sure they wouldn't mind a few more members. So if you've got any sort of interest in what people are finding throughout the world, stay tuned. Welcome to part two. Hello everyone, String Frenzy here. YouTube channel name is Ohio Metal Detecting. This item is a Boy Scout commemorative neckerchief slide from 1950. It's a Strength in the Arm of Liberty slide. Although I hunt primarily with a Mine Lab E-Track now, this was found with a White's DFX rang up in the range of a quarter or so, somewhere at around five inches. Uh, it was recovered on the east side of Ohio. The address for the channel is at the top of the screen. Hello, this is Mr. Mech, 123M, and this is my George III Sixpence, uh, 1818 as you can see, uh, otherwise known as a Bullhead Sixpence as you can see by his, his big head. It's in great condition. It was found with a Garrett 250 uh, in Kersus in Wales. It was about six inches down. Um, and it's my second one, but by far my best condition. Thanks for watching. Check out my other finds at Mr. Mick 123M. Thank you. Well, hey guys, this is um, an Australian Rising Sun hat badge, and it's from the Australian Army. It's found in Queensland, Australia. Underneath is the shoulder flash that would go on the Australian Army uniform. Um, I found this with a CTX 3030, and it was a probably probably at least six inches down in really sandy, loamy soil. And my name is John 24 Gold One. Hi, I'm Ian, uh, Ash and I are on YouTube, and my find of the month this month is a silver one shilling token, circa 1811, uh, it's by R.D. Hall from Poulton the Fylde, one of three Lancashire mints at the time, um, quite rare, I uh, find this one on pasture about three inches down, and at the time I was using the Garrett Ace 250 with the uh, double depth coil, and that's exactly how it came out of the ground. Right, hope you enjoy the find. Thanks very much for watching.
Hi, my name is John. My YouTube username is Old Gold 1100. I'd like to show this tiny little hammer coin courtesy of Pond Guru's worldwide metal detecting videos. Thanks for looking. Hello guys, it's Paul from the United Kingdom, uh, aka Probing Po. Uh, in April 2012, I found an old purse. Uh, just turn that over there, you can tell where the coins have been. And also, on that piece there. Oops, there the coins there. The coins age from between that one's nineteen sixteen and that one there is nineteen sixty seven. Found them at the side of an old path, uh, probably about ten inches down, and at the time I was using the Fisher F four. Alright guys, bye de bye. Hi guys, Rob here from Roman Rob 97 YouTube channel. I have another find here today for you to look at. It's a cameo brooch which I found with a Garrett 80 Pro on farmland. Between 6 and 8 inches deep this one was. It's a nice little buckle, a nice little brooch rather, which uh, as you can see got a little Sparth in it there. When it looked at and it's uh, believed to be Victorian, you can see the pins missing and the hole in the top they tell me was used as a pendant as well as a brooch so you can wear it as either. Okay thanks a lot, see you soon. Okay guys it's CB, um, otherwise known in my videos um, for Historical Hopture Society um, and my find of the month is this beautiful Bronze Age axe head. Um, it is the flanged style um, and it dates from 1800 to 1600 BC, so it's about 3,600 years old. Um, quite a stunning find. It was only five inches down, found with the Garrett Ace 250. Um, and it's for the, for the age comparison. Um, if you think about the Pharaoh Tutankhamun, um, he came about 500 years after the earliest date of this. This is a miniature cannon. Now this dates from either late Georgian or early Victorian times and this would actually be mounted on a wooden carriage with little wheels on and I think this is an interesting find because kids would actually treat this as a toy and they would actually fire little balls out of here exactly the same way as you would with a full size cannon now this was found in the field just behind my house it's pasture, it's never been turned over and this was about 11 or 12 inches down, it still gave a cracking signal but I was really surprised when I dug this up. And this was with the 18 by 15 inch coil on the Mine Lab E track. Bang! Hey guys, my name's Johnny. I'm 15 and from Norfolk. Uh, I used an XP Gold Max Power to get this, which is my best find of November. It's a Philip and Mary half groat. Uh, and it's not in great condition because I didn't actually get out that much in November. But I've had many since, all of these in December. I have videos of me digging all these up on my channel which is Metal Detecting UK. Hello guys and girls, Lee Citron Symes here. My YouTube channel is Chidic Lee. This is my entry for Find of the Month. This is my first ever gold find. It was found on the Chesil Beach. 
in Dorset, which is a shingle beach. It was found using a Seascope CS990XD. This is 19 grams, 9 carat gold uh, saddle ring, and I'm off to get it valued today. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do after I've had it valued, but at the time when I found it, I was so surprised I nearly ate my pin pointer. Good luck, happy hunting, it's out there, go find it. Money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Millions and millions and millions. Oh, somebody's been putting silver coins is, in here as well. This is the money dragon. And this tree is covered. It is covered. Oh, it's a place. I'm going to put it in here. Okay, all right, we're ready with it. Here we go. So when you come up the falls and you hear this knock, 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 it's not a woodpeck. Look at all that money. <laughs> Look at oh my, Look no. at so that was a nice little collection of what people have been finding around the world. There'll be more great finds in part three, four, five, etc, etc. This is a series that's just going to run and run. Now if you're interested in submitting a video for this series, check out the end of this video when I'll explain exactly how you can do it. But before we get to that end bit, where you find out how to submit a video, I think we'll end it with a little prayer. This is a prayer that I did a while back, when I had a hard time finding silver. Every time I went out, I was just finding rubbishy copper coins in places I knew there was silver. So, this is quite serious. We'll end it with a prayer. Thanks for watching. Kram, I have never prayed to you before. I have no tongue for it. No one, not even you, will remember if I dug litter or coins. Why I dug holes or why I hunted. No. All that matters is I hunted for treasure. That's what's important. Detecting pleases you, Kram. So grant me one request. Grant me silver. And if you do not listen, then to hell with you. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Those of you of a similar age to me would probably have recognized that butchered speech from Conan the Barbarian, 1982. If Mr. Swarshenegg is watching, I do apologize. I made a real balls of that. Basically what I'm after is a very short video, 30 to 40 seconds long, explaining what you found, where you found it, what you found it with, and how deep it was. Also give your name and your channel name. You can put a little box in the corner of your video with your channel name which will also help people to find your channel and give you loads more views. If I get 15 to 20 of these I can collate them all into one concise good watchable video. Remember no copyrighted music and keep the videos short and as, as full of information as you can within 30 to 40 seconds or so. As I said you can send me multiple videos if I don't use them in one video I'll be sure to use them in the next video, so you will be on a video sooner or later. Bear in mind this isn't a competition. All I'm after is things of interest, not necessarily value. Just a good range of metal detecting finds from around the world. If you think it's interesting, you've kept it. Other people will most likely think it's interesting as well.